What's up, duelists? Today, I'm going to be playing Gladiator Beasts. I know, I swore an oath to never play this deck ever again, but today, I violate that oath for the last time. For the last time, I will be revisiting this deck. I know a lot of people, this might be your favorite deck, and I know a lot of other people, this might be your least favorite deck. Now, I'm not going to say which side of the fence I fall on. I'm not going to say which camp I fall into. I, I, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. You probably already know which one it is, but I'm not going to say which one it is. Mm, I think this deck does pretty well against all the decks that did well at RBET Rulers. I think this list is pretty heat. We've got Upstar Goblin to make sure we find Rescue Cat. We've got Legacy of Yadagarasu because that's the that's the new tech. we got to make people scared to Heavy Storm into our back row. we got to make people scared to Raikou our back row. And Legacy of Yadagarasu makes sure that happens. I already know that I'm going to load this up and I'm going to draw these three cards up here. I already know it's going to happen. So uh, just get ready. Just get ready because it's going to be a little bit of a... It's going to be a little bit of a salty one. It's going to be a little bit of a, a salt fest here in a second, but just just bear in mind. Just bear in mind. We, we're we probably going to get upset. At some point in this video, I'm probably going to get mad. Okay, let's see if we can find a match. Let's see if we can find a match. Look, we're on our way to 10,000 subscribers. I really want to hit 10,000 by the end of the year. I'm going to do some cool stuff next year, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. If you haven't already, please. It would, it would mean a lot to me. It would mean a lot to me. I know a lot of people like this video. So, a lot of people are going to like the channel. Okay, what what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on here? We're against Drill Drillix99. Why the... No, I'm never going to answer this question. I'm never going to answer if I'm recording or not. I'm, why? Because then I'm going to get the fucking freaks, the people on Dueling Book who... You know, you know who they are. They're just saying shit. They start saying shit, and then it ruins the recording, and then I waste my time. I can already tell. I can already tell, Skrillex99. I can already tell you're going to be one of those people. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know for sure if Skrillex is going to be one of those people, but we'll we'll find out. We'll find out. Please, make make a move. Yes, move to main phase. Okay, awesome. What does our hand look like? This hand sucks balls. This hand is really bad. Sam Knight, also a Garnet. Bestiari, also a Garnet. Like, six of our monsters are Garnets, so there's an issue there. Mm, set monster is annoying. I think we just have to get Sam Knight back into the deck, but I am going to upstart Goblin first because I don't want to tag him out and then have to upstart Goblin into him again. Second Trap Stun is pretty bad. That's like really not what we wanted. We wanted Space Typhoon or Heavy Storm here, but alas, here we are. Let's go Sam Knight attack. I think that's the, that's the move. We really need this Sam Knight to get back in the deck. They're going to book the Sam Knight. All right, I mean, that's totally fine i'm probably just gonna set three and pass if we get stormed at least i can chain legacy we have another trap stun so maybe we can make a power play with best yard to come back i i'm not super excited about this but it's the world we live in we got our plus one off their book of moon already i think they might have storm just because they did use the book of moon in a situation where i i don't know if it's it's good or not also, like, why why use the Book of Moon unless you have something worth protecting that's set? It's definitely not a Raikou, because if it was a Raikou, they'd just pop the Sam Knight and be happy with it. So it's probably, like, a zombie monster, if I have to guess. It's probably a zombie monster. Or a hamster, maybe? It could be a hamster. It could be... What the fuck is this? Um, uh, priority, I suppose? This is interesting. Maybe it's, like, a psychic... Uh, they're going to pay a thousand. They're going to target the middle set. I'm going to chain Legacy of Yadagarasu and draw a card. I could chain the Book of Moon too, but I'd like to deal a thousand extra damage. And it looks like we're going to get a chance to book their creature anyway, which is nice. Very, very lucky. I got the gamble there. I got the gamble. I got the 50-50. I probably should have just chained Book. But I wanted to get that 1,000 burn. I was getting a little greedy. <laughs> I was getting a little greedy. Oh, wow. This is going to be a crush. Yeah, because now we can just we can just get them real good. We can get them real good. Real, real good. Like, real nice. We'll get them real nice. We'll get them real nice with the guys there. Is. We're going to tag these two guys out. Shuffle the deck. Go, guys there is. Guys there is, is going to activate target both monsters we just want to blow up both monsters we'll trade the trap stone with the back row do we do 
yep, yep, there goes the Dr. Cranium. That's what they were scared of losing. Honestly, they should have let that die and then just tutor a psychic monster. Because, like, what am I tagging into with Sam Knight? Not really tagging into much. We'll go 2400 direct, see if they have a trap card. Looks like they do not. I'm going to tag out the Geyseris, I think. I just want to get two dudes into play. Just two dudes. Well, can't get Bestiari because of the way Geyseris is worded. We can get Rediari and banish their one star to make their power well worse. Because I'm assuming they're just playing like a turbo power well mind master kind of deck. So that being the case, I'm going to get Quarry and I'm going to get Rediari. And Rediari is going to activate targeting Cranium. And we just need to keep one glad they're going to chain power well. Okay, so they do have power well. Okay, sure, that's fine. I was thinking they might have set power well because they didn't do anything up to this point. But that's fine, I guess. That's fine. Maybe I should have got Sam Knight instead, knowing that they probably had power well. I am not going to set the second trap stun. There's really no reason to do that, so we're just going to pass. We can come back from most things, except for like a Mind Master OTK, which would beat us here. If we do lose to a Mind Master OTK, I'm ending the fucking video right now. I'm ending the video right now if we lose to a Mind Master OTK right now. Okay, this is fine. This is whatever. Because this doesn't really do anything. This just gives them Laquari and Cranium. That's fine. It's annoying, but like we can just run this over and then pop that, and it's not a big deal. So I'm not worried about this. And they can't really get over the Cranium right now anyway. They have to attack over Rediari here. Like, they can't let the Rediari stay in play or else they just get Geyserist again. So, there's that. This card's annoying. I wish I had a Chariot, but instead I have fucking Trap Stun. Two of them, which do nothing. Yep, exactly. So we're going to take 900 here because that guy's 21. Mm, that should be it. You know, that should be that. They did you know pay life points and spend a card to be able to use this so even though they got a plus one they kind of minus themselves in a sense we could also just grammar the laquari uh, and then crash these two i'm not sure how good that is i think it might be better to run this guy over and then tag in and pop because i don't want to give them a search really ah that's really tough. We could also just Grammel attack the jumper, but then they could synchro. They honestly should have synchroed last turn. I don't know why they didn't. This guy is a tuner. Um, but I think we just have to clear both. Well, we can clear both by crashing, but then we don't have anything in play. I think it's better just to do this. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I think it's better just to do this. We'll attack there. We'll tag out. We'll go get Marmillo. And I will summon it in attack position. They do have monsters that, you know, can cause complications. We do have we do have Grammel. Grammel could have returned Laquari, but again, there's no real reason to do it. I'm not gonna set further into Heavy Storm with this other trap stunt. I don't think we need to do that. Especially because they have no traps anyway, so. They would need to draw, like, runner, runner trap for me to care. Okay, and this is just going to be Geyseris for lethal, so that's that. We could also win... No, that's... This is the only way to win. Okay, cool. Activate. Reveal. Send Bestiari. Yep. Skrillex sees the writing on the wall. And we're going to game two. Game two against this Psychic Telekinetic Power Well deck. How do I feel about it? I think... Defissure is probably going to be pretty insane against it, but Defissure also shuts off our own strategy of Prisma Cat. So we have to think, is it worth it to side out the Prismas and the Cats to have the Defissures? And that I don't know. That I don't know. Fossil Dino is pretty good here. Thunder King's probably... Eh, Thunder King's probably not great. I think Mind Control, Brain Control are actually kind of good. They clear Krebins, which is an annoying card. I'm, I'm not opposed to bringing these in and then maybe bringing in the Dinas and then just trying something like this. I don't think this is too bad. We will side out the Trap Stuns. Looks like they were very Trap Light. We will side out the 
Heavy Storm, and I'll probably side out an Upstart Goblin too, and just try something like this. This could be not good, but based off of the configuration of the deck that we saw, I think this is pretty pretty good. I think this is you know, kind of what we want, kind of what we want here. All right, opening hand looks good. We have Prisma Tiger going second, and we have War Chariot to sort of seal the seal the deal, more or less. So can't complain. They do have a back row that is annoying. We will try to play through the back row by attacking with Mermillo. I think that's going to be the plan. I'm going to attack with Mermillo first here. It's a Gravekeeper Spy. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm going to tag into Bestiari because I don't, I, I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm honestly not afraid. I don't think that they have anything that I care about. If it gets bottomless, then they got us. Yep, I knew it wasn't anything I cared about. All right, main phase two, we can tiger out. We can do a lot of different stuff. I think I'm just going to set bottomless, set chariot, and pass. I think we're fine here. They set typhoon, which means they don't have heavy storm. Otherwise, they would have set Heavy Storm instead of the Typhoon. Pretty much. Descendant. Priority. Let's see if they activate with priority. If they don't activate with priority, I'm going to bottomless it. If they activate with priority, then obviously we just Chariot. And the game ends. Priority. Okay. Uh, target. Let's see what they want to target. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're going to chariot, but I want to see what they're going after because it gives us information on what we want to do. Nice little two for one. Makes up for the, you know, spy, summoning out a spy. And now we're just up the disadvantage from going second. We should be able to take over this game very, very easily. I mean, this is just... I think we want to go Secutor somehow here. Secutor and then get get a Looping Glad into a quest. So, yeah, I think that's the move. We'll go Special this. Sack this guy. Um, best Yari back to the deck. And we'll go ahead and get Secutor. And then we will... You know, do the thing. Do the thing. Tack this guy here. Take 1600. Tack this guy here. Take 300. Secutor is going to activate. This is going to go get uh, Mermillo and I believe a quest. Mermillo is going to activate, target the spy, and then GG's. Yep. GG's. GG's, Drillix. GG's. See you in the in the comment section, maybe. <laughs> GG's. Okay, not salting yet. Not salting yet. Glad's kind of coming through there. Had a pretty good draw both games one and game two against the Psychic Jank deck. But to be fair, he kind of played it in a way that was a little weird. I mean, Spy's pretty bad against Glad's. Uh, the Psychic Jumper stuff, he didn't synchro there. He sh should have probably synchroed there. Okay, both these guys know what I'm playing, so I don't really want to accept them. This guy was watching my game, which is like... Like, come on, man! You, you can watch my game, and then you're gonna you're gonna try to join afterward. You know, you're gonna watch my game, and then you're gonna bring pre against me. Really? You're gonna bring pre against me? Really, Darius four eight three? I don't really want to play Glad. Fine, I'll play against you. Fine, I'll play against you. God, watch my game, and then look at what I'm playing, and then pick the counter deck, and then come from. I see how it is. This is the game I'm gonna assault. I can already tell. This is the game I'm gonna assault. Okay, I'm gonna pick paper again. Nobody fucking dude. I'm down two die rolls. This is insane. Okay, it's it's happening. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before I salt. He's on 45. Yep, it's a glad mirror. The dude's name is Darius. Like, come on. You really want to play a fucking gladiator beast mirror? This is without a doubt the worst mirror in the entire format. It's so bad. It's just whoever like gets chariot guy first wins the game immediately. It is the worst matchup. It is literally just who gets chariot first. That's, that's all it is. There's there's nothing beyond it. It's just whoever gets Chariot first. Okay, maybe the Lightsworn sleeves. Maybe he's on Lightsworn. Who knows? Who knows? What are we going to do? I guess we upstart first to see if we hit Tiger. Because that would change everything. 
upstart into legacy call that a draw engine um <laughs> shit man this is fucking bad i guess we just heavy storm we only have one e-quest in this list i think so i kind of want to get it back into the deck cool nice We're able to clear a pretty real back row there looks like we've got to deal with a hamster which i'm perfectly okay with i'm gonna activate the e-quest go into the deck then we'll just Mermillo pop the stupid hamster. I don't really want to deal with that shit. Because we can't really effectively get over it outside of Geyseris. Main phase 2, I'm going to set the Legacy and then pass. He's either popping Mermillo with Raikou or he's popping Legacy with Raikou. And I, I'm totally chill with either. This is why you do play the Legacy of Yadagrasu. Uh, not a great spot. I mean, we're still down the card from going first. We might be able to pick it up somehow here, but unlikely we need a test tiger to get real advantage out of this circumstance looks like he's going to target the back row we are going to chain legacy of Yadagarasu, draw our card and he is going to mill three wow what a sack <laughs> that's awesome mill three darks including a vayu and a soroko that's cool that's awesome that's really dope so it looks like he's playing Vayu Turbo with Phoenix Wing and Hamster. Hmm. Okay. Well, if we draw a Tiger, we're still okay. But that's fucking crazy. Lucky. <sighs> now he's going to think for 80 million years. Yep. Here we are like, hmm, what do I do now? Okay. Sure. That works too. This is awesome. Okay. 2300 and then 2400. Against this deck, we're probably going to have to side D Fissure and. I don't know. No one else we're going to side. Oh, multiple back row? How much you want to bet one of those is a Royal Oppression? Not that it matters because our hand doesn't do anything. We're just going to go to the next game because we can't do anything there. Not through any real back row. That was awesome. That was really fun. I love when that happens. Uh, I think Dinah is probably good, and I think Defissure is probably good. Uh, Dust Tornado for Oppression is probably good. Lightmare is not bad. Lightmare does shut off Prisma Tiger, though, so not the biggest fan there. I think Call of the Haunted's got to come out. It's a little slow. I think Dust Shoot's pretty good. I think Heavy Storm is important for dealing with Oppression. This might end up being some sort of life race, but... I don't know. God, our hand was bad that game. I think Starlight Road's pretty bad in this matchup. They only have Heavy Storm, Mirror Force, and Torrential to trigger it. Well, yeah, and they have Oppression to deal with it, so I think it's pretty bad in this matchup. Compulsory's good. It's probably like Dust Shoot or something. Grand Mole's good. Man, we have, we have a lot of good cards in this matchup. It's probably Book. It's not very good. Yeah, book's not the best. And then we'll side out the legacy because he saw it. Cool. This seems okay. We'll try this. I do have defissures and the cat stuff, but... Also, he's playing 45 fucking cards in this deck. That's just wrong. Like, straight up, that's just wrong. How do you play 45 in mill like that? That's insane. I, I don't understand it. All right, we're going to summon Laquari. We're going to set bottomless, and we are going to pass. There's no shot. He has Space Typhoon and or Heavy Storm and or Sirocco in 45. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. It's not a real thing. Next turn, okay, there's the Sirocco, but we have bottomless, so we take those. We don't have a way to play through oppression as of right now, so I don't think we can afford to tag out this Laquari. Okay, Trap Dash is pretty good. I'll summon Darius, and we'll just start attacking. Oh, I was supposed to set test Tiger into Secutor. Oops, mistake on my part. Mistake, gonna miss out on a lot of value here because of that. That's okay though. We'll just tag out the Darius, go get a quarry. And then we'll tag out this Laquari and go get Sam Knight. Main phase two. I'll set Dust Shoot D Prison and pass. And then I will Dust Shoot them in the draw phase. Hopefully we can just go to the next game. 
No, they want to play it out. Okay, they have Solemn, and then they have a bunch of shit that does nothing. Because we have D Prison, I think we take Lila. Actually, I don't know. Maybe we just take Raiko. Maybe I don't care about Lila. Yeah, I'll just take Raiko. Well, they could go Armageddon Brown. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just go Raiko. We've got Lila, Trooper, Caius, Arma, Solemn. Cool. Looks like they've got a bigger Lightsworn engine at the cost of going over 40 cards. But now their hand is just a bunch of normal summons, which doesn't do anything. They are going to attack. See, I don't advise this. I advise just breaking if you're going to do anything. Yep. Okay. And that's how that one goes. Their deck has a lot of normal summons. Now that I'm looking at it. I mean, Raikou's pretty good. But their deck has a lot of normal summons. It leads me to kind of want Trap Hole. But again, the monsters they're normal summoning are just worse than our Glad. So I'm not super worried about that. Going second, the Prisma Tiger stuff gets really good. The D Fissure stuff, eh, it's still pretty good. I think Cyber Dragon's actually pretty good going second. It's probably better than Dyna now that I'm looking at our, their monster lineup more. I think Cyber Dragon's a little better than Dyna going second. It's also better with the D Fissures because we can have a turn where we're like activate D Fissure, special summon Sidra, attack their Raikou. The Raikou pops the D Fissure, main phase two. I could like, you know, do other shit. Or I could even summon a Glad there too. Cyber Dragon to beat the bottom of this, that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, I think this is just going to be it. This looks fine. We've got one, two, three, four, five outs to oppression. We've got, you know, Grammel to deal with the stuff. We've got the all the powerful stuff. And then we've got Defissure, which basically forces Raikos or Caius's because they can't play the game for the most part through that card. So we should be okay. Should be okay. Copium. I think game one was just like, a bad draw on our part this hand's fucking crazy all we need is like heavy storm and this hand just like wins immediately like this hand is godly if they set no back row then game over okay never mind they've got a back row test tiger's pretty good all right i'll try with the cyber dragon let's see if they have royal oppression question mark that's good. Okay, let's not play into a sweeper. Let's just attack the set. Super nimble mega hamster. That's fine. Interesting. Well, 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 well. Now we have some decisions to make. I think I'm going to get... I'm going to get jiggy with it, as the kids say. I think I'm going to go Rescue Cat, Activate. And then we're going to go get Test Tiger, Sam Knight. And then I'm going to sacrifice Test Tiger to tag into Bestiari, because I think the back row is actually a Dust Tornado. Oh. Looks like it's a Book of Moon. They've managed to find room for Book of Moon in their 45 card deck. That's fine too. I think it's fine. I'll just set Dust Shoot, set Bottomless, and be cool. We don't lose the Sam Knight. We're up a card now, I think. Uh, yeah, we're up a card. We went up a card that turn. Cool. That's kind of the desired effect I wanted. I, I would have loved to end with Bestiari so I could have the Chariot be live, but we'll take what we can get. Let's hope that they flip Raikou and target the center set. They might target the monster. No, they're going to target the other set. I guess at this point we'll chain trap Dust Shoot. Let's see what they've got. So we're going to Trap Dust Shoot, take, hmm, hmm, that's unfortunate. Oh, we're losing everything no matter what. 
It's just a matter of if we want them to have to Caius us or Card Trooper us. I think it's better for us if they... So if, if they Caius, we lose everything and they end with Caius. If they Card Trooper, they end with Chimera Tech and they mill three. There's no real difference except top deck Cyber Dragon is better against Chimera Tech, so we'll take Caius. Yeah, so it's um, Trooper, Plague, Burial, Typhoon. They milled Necro Garna, which they've made room for, Royal Oppression, and Phoenix and Windblast. Okay, Necro a problem, but we can deal with it. Yep, looks like they are going to go for the Card Trooper Mill 3 contact. They did hit a Sirocco, which is big. Multiple Phoenix Wing, okay. What are they doing? They're just attacking first. I guess it's the same thing either way. If they pass the turn, then that just is insane for us because we get a contact instead of them. Wow. So they didn't set the Typhoon and they're gonna let us contact fuse into Chimera Tech. That's insane. Maybe they don't have it in the extra deck. That's the only thing that would make any sort of sense. Now we can attack over the Ryko. They do have Plague, but the they would need like Dark Greffer or Armageddon Knight to really convert. Uh, I want to trade Dust with the Typhoon. I'd rather, well, I guess trading Chariot with the Typhoon is fine too. We'll just pass. Because they had the Typhoon, I'm, I'm really surprised they used the Ryko. Like, why did they use the Ryko that way? Because they had the Typhoon for the other back row. Maybe they didn't expect it to be chainable. I guess that makes sense. I guess they, they didn't expect both to be chainable. Or one of them to be chainable. Huh. They kind of got owned there. No cap. They can set Plague if they don't have a play. They have Necro Garnet. They could have used Necro Garnet to protect their Ryko. But making Armory Arm doesn't do anything to get over Chimera Attack anyway. So there's that. They have Typhoon, but if they just set it, then we can dust it. Hmm. Yeah, that's got to be the Typhoon, right? So M phase will dust the, the Typhoon. I'm assuming that's what it is. Yep, that's what it was. And we'll draw for turn. It's Upstar Goblin. I am going to play it. I think if we find a Glad, it's just like crushing. Compulsory is pretty good too. We'll take it. Um, we'll attack for 2k. I'm a little worried about gores, but we have to win the game. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's fucking unfortunate. They top decked gores. All right. God, that's so fucking tilting. We have plays if we draw a glad, but we just haven't drawn a fucking glad, so there's no plays. I mean, thankfully their hand is still Plague Burial Unknown, but they still have Necrogarna, which is fucking miserable. I guess we're, we might have to, we might be in a position where we have to War Chariot and Necrogarna. They're going to do this. I am going to keep my Chimera Tech around. I'm going to Compulsory the token. Because if we draw a glad, we can just out the gores and then we get to keep the Chimera Tech on top of it. But if we don't draw Glad, we're kind of in a bad spot. They are going to set the plague and pass. Okay, Glad one time. Thank God. Holy fuck. That would have been really frustrating. Okay. So now we have plays. And the plays involve Sekitor. So I think we normal equest special test tiger. Activate test tiger. Put a quest back in the deck. Go get Secutor. And what we're looking to tag into is... So we have to attack Gores, because if they... The set monster is probably Plague, but if it is Ryko, we get fucked. So we have to attack Gores, because we're going to be forced to Chariot the Necrogarna. Basically. 
They're going to activate Necrogardena. We are going to War Chariot. And then now we take 2100. Then we're going to activate Secutor. Secutor has to get Bestiari. Rediari? Or is it Bestiari a quest? I think it's... Oh, fuck, that's really tough. I think it's Bestiaria Quest. And a quest will activate. Target War Chariot. We'll get back War Chariot to our hands. And then we'll be able to contact Fuse into Geyseris. That would put them at three darks. But... We just kind of have to do it. And I think I want to leave Secutor in play because it, it leaves three threats in play. And even if even if we just pop one, they can always burial to get Dark Armed online. And Dark Armed is like one out of... Yeah, one out of a million. And we have Chariot for it. I mean, they can attack over one of the Glads, but then we still have Chariot for it main phase two, so... They'll have to summon Dark Armed and then stack for Plague and then crash into both Glads and then... Yeah, we should be okay. We should be okay. I mean, I don't know if we're going to be okay, but we should be. That was a really unfortunate Gores, but we did rip a Glad when we needed to. So it worked out really well. Hopefully this is enough to just get us to the victory. Again, you don't want to be playing like a lot of these filler cards in this deck. You just want to be playing like the stuff that guarantees you see your starters and your Royal Oppression as consistently as possible because their hand has like a... I'm not sure if it has cards that they uh, did or didn't add or whatever to the standard lists, but generally speaking, you just want to see your starters and make sure you can get an Armed Wing in play against Glads because if you can get an Armed Wing in play against Glads, it's pretty hard to pretty hard to lose. Okay, here's Gale. That's going to attack over Secutor. That's fine. Right? Yeah, that's fine. They can Necrogardena. They can Burial Necrogardena the Geyserus attack. But then we have Chariot for it again. Um, yeah, we'll just Chariot that. No reason not to. And then they'll pass, so that's probably for burial for Necrogardena. I will upstart here. I think this set card is the burial for sure. Because otherwise they would have done whatever. I am going to just attack with both. There's no reason to summon Darius into a sweeper. I'm going to say start battle. Okay, cool. Yeah, here's the burial for the Necro. And now they're at four darks. I mean, they can still... I don't even actually have to attack. Uh, I will. I will attack. I'll force it. Okay. I was thinking we don't have to attack, but I think it's fine. And we'll just pass. We don't know their last card anymore. They could somehow get us with like a level four and a plague. We can lose, but we have draws that'll get us out of it at least. I probably should have summoned the Darius. But, yeah, I probably should have summoned the Darius, knowing that that was probably the burial, based off of the Gale play. Here's Caius, that's going to deal us a 1,000 and an additional 400 over the Chimera tech. All right. That's pretty good. Book of Moon, one time. Grand Mole, we take those. We take those. I'll attack, return both to the hand, and then pass. So we know they have Caius. We just need to keep their board clear, basically. Ooh, D Fissure is a really good draw. D Fissure is a really, really good draw. We'll go Darius, see what they got. I'm going to force a Royal Oppression, basically, if they have one. 1700, okay. We'll activate. Go to the top of the deck. 
and bring out I'm not even really sure here could just be Laquari so it's stronger than whatever it could also be like best Yari to pop their back row it could also be a quest to get back chariot I think because we have the Grand Mole, we don't really care about the Chariot. So we're going to go Best Yari, and then we're going to activate... Ooh, this is so bad, actually. This is so bad. I need them not to draw a good card here. Maybe I should have just gone Laquari. I mean, we were dying to a good card anyway, like Refer or whatever. So I'm just going to activate d -Fisher. At least this will prevent them from prevent them from drawing Armageddon Knight or like Greffer into Armed Wing they do have three darks so Dark Armed is live did they top deck it no they didn't thank god okay that was that was really tense actually that could have got bad so we'll use the Grand Mole to the hand and then Best Yari Direct for 1500, and then this is going to activate. We're going to go back into the deck. We're going to go get the quarry, and now we're pretty much set up to win. I don't see how we can lose there. Heavy Storm is gone too. That should be that. That was a really close game for no reason. Raiko, Raiko, yep. Thumbs up. GG's. GG's. That, was, that did not need to be that close against 45 card deck that did not need to be that close that really did not need to be that close but thankfully we got a little bit lucky with our top decks hmm maybe this is the least salty gladiator beast video of all time maybe maybe i'm just gonna go undefeated i'm gonna lose every die roll i'm gonna draw every garnet and i'm still just gonna go undefeated maybe that's the case maybe that's the case that was that was tough i think i've really messed up that last game i think the turn they had burial for necro they would not have gone Gale Force the Chariot if they had Mirror Force. They would have just set the Mirror Force and not activated the Gale. So I should have summoned the Darius there. That was like, I had the correct read. I just like didn't didn't act on it. I'm going to pick paper again. I mean, eventually I'm going to win a rock, paper, scissors just picking paper. Eventually it's going to happen. Is it going to happen today? I don't, I don't fucking know. Is it going to, is it going to happen right now? I'm not picking paper. God, dude, are you fucking kidding me? This is so fucking stupid. Okay, 03, rock, paper, scissors, you know, it's fine. It's whatever. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Copium. Oh, yes. Yes, the garnet hand. It was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time. God damn it. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Composure. Maintain composure. Oh, man. We could get really greedy, or we could just go Mermilla Swing. Mermilla's in our hand, so getting really greedy doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We'll just go Mermilla swing. If it's Raiko, I'm pretty happy that Mermilla gets popped. Yep, cool. Thank God. Okay, cool. Mills does shoot Torrential Lila. Are we playing against the same shit? Like, what's going on here? I'm going to set Book of Moon. If we get attacked, I might just book the card, and then we'll Tiger into Secutor and go from there. They had no back row, so they just, you know, didn't play it last turn. They will have to draw a trap card here to have interaction against us. The Mamillo being in the grave isn't bad. It gives value to our request and Darius later on. Like, I can go Secutor into Laquari, Mer uh, Laquari Darius, bring back the Mermillo, and then have Heraclino Secutor, and that's pretty good. Okay, Krebens is cool. That's chill. It's all gang. Attack for 1,200. Sure. There's no reason to use the book just yet. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, this is good. I'd rather save the book because now we can smashing and i think smashing is going to be good here looks like they're playing telekinetic power well but with lice horns i don't like that configuration of the deck i think it's a worse configuration of the deck but it is a fun configuration of the deck so you know i can't i can't talk too much shit we use test tiger go into itself special summon out secutor the cool thing about test tiger is you can tag the same name into itself so you can tag secutor into secutor and then it just makes your secutor live which is very nice. We will attack for 400. We will get the activation of the effect. This will get us... Now, I actually want to go into Red Yari in the case of that one guy. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know that one guy? I do want to go Red Yari. 
And then I also do want to go, I think just Laquari. And then we're actually not going to make Heraclinos. We're not going to make it. We're going to banish Krebins, of course, keep him off the well. Main phase two, I think we're just going to vibe out with all this. I don't think there's really any reason to make Heraclinos. We have Book of Moon for defense. We have Call of the Haunted to come back in the game if we need it. I'm not going to play into Heavy Storm. I'm not going to set my other back row. Like, we could go Heraclinos and then set the call. But then we don't have a way to, like, negate effects. So there's no real reason to do that, honestly. And we'll only have one, one negate anyway. Maybe we set the call anyway. If they have Heavy Storm... No, I think it's just I think it's just this. I think this is chill. I think this is chill. I think it's better to have the Secutor in play because it's a plus two every turn. And it forces them to act. Whereas Heraclinos doesn't really force them to act in the same way. They can just set a Raikou against Heraclinos and then all of a sudden all of our advantage that we've worked so hard to accumulate is gone. Secutor's broken. That's just that's just the name of the game with Glads. If you can resolve a Secutor hit once, you're probably going to win the game. If you can resolve it twice, you've definitely won the game. That's just how it goes. And I think we're in a good position to resolve it twice. If not, I mean, okay. Here's Krevins. That's totally fine. Second Krevins, not a big deal. So in the other decks, they play Dark Refer instead of the Lightsworn stuff. And Dark Refer would have been much scarier for us. But these cards, nowhere near that scary. We'll just book the Krevins, and that'll be that, I think. I, I don't see us losing this one. Unless they have, like, Mirror Force now. And if they have Mirror Force now, I can even go set Darius, tag into Heraclinos, and then resolve the Secutor hit and get our plus two again. So, yeah, that's going to be that. He's kind of in a bad spot here. The Book of Moon was really good. That was like the perfect piece of interaction. It stopped the attack. It put the monster face down in play. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be tough to come back from. So what I'm actually going to do is, because that monster can negate our attacks, I'm going to go... Well, do we want to go into Heraclinos first? We might want to go into Heraclinos first. I think so. I actually think so. I think that's fine. Is it better not to, though? Do we have anything we want to get back with a quest? So we'll probably get a quest and Bestiari, maybe, off of Secutor. I'm not really sure. We'll just normal summon. We'll go... I think it's more damage to do things this way. But we don't get the maximum Secutor. Actually, we don't get we don't get activate Secutor at all. So I'm gonna go all three into Heraclinos now, and then we'll go Heraclinos attack the set monster. We could have also just grammed the set monster, but I think this is fine. Then we'll go Secutor direct for 400, activate the Secutor, and I think the move is actually we're gonna go Rediari. And we're going to go Equest. So Rediari is going to activate. He's going to banish the Krebins. And Equest is going to activate. It's going to add back Mermillo. And that's going to make our Heraclinos much better. We're going to set Call of the Haunted. But now we're up like a significant advantage. We have two negates. And the opponent has no Darks in Grave. No Psychics in Grave. We should be good to take over. I don't think they really have much that can can deal with what we've got going on. And then we can always just grab all stuff and go for game two. Their hand has been pretty frozen the whole game. It's probably just a ton of normals. I don't know what they have, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Like, what could they have? It's like six cards. I guess Caius is a dead card. Uh, Mystic Tomato, those Kitans cards are probably dead. Armageddon Knight. Although Armageddon Knight would turn on Powerwell, Powerwell is probably a card in their hand. Maybe Dark Arm Dragon, Chaos Sorcerer, that type of thing. Huh. Now those cards are still good against us here because they will out the Heraclinos and most of our board. But we do have a Glad in hand, so if we draw a Test Tiger, we can get out of things. Okay, looks like they're playing Pyramid Turtle with the Lightsworn stuff. This is like, this is not only one engine that I don't like in this deck, it's two engines I don't like in this deck. This is totally fine. This can run over the Secutor. Oh, they're going to try to crash with the Rediari. Yeah, that's fine. That's also fine. This can get, like, Mizuki or something and maybe run over something, but we're all right. We got Call of the Haunted. We got everything. We're chilling. 
And this isn't putting a dark in the grave. I did not expect them to be on both Pyramid Turtle and the Light Sworn stuff. So. They're going to grab Plague. They're going to try to crash Plague. No, they're just going to go sideways. Okay, Brain Control maybe? What does the Brain Control take? What are they targeting? I mean, we can just negate this with Heraclinos. Yeah, we'll negate with Heraclinos. We'll pitch Mermillo. I think Grammel's a little bit better here. Okay. Now what? Now what, buddy? If they go for Book of Life, I'm tempted to let it resolve. Nope, just going to end the game there. Cool. Again, we're going to side similarly. I think Mind Control and Brain Control are pretty good against this deck because they summon Krebins, and that's just how they do. Against their deck specifically, Defisher doesn't seem so bad because they have, like, Rikos and shit. Honestly, I could see an argument for just going, like, this and then just siding out, like, all of our combo pieces. Like, all of this can go. These can go. These can go. Probably this. And then maybe call. Yeah, this seems fine. We'll try this out. Is the third chariot necessary here? That's the last thing I have in mind is the third chariot. Meh. Meh. Probably it's pretty good. Maybe over heavy storm. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll try the third chariot over heavy storm. I could be wrong though. I'm not sure. We can always go back into like the cat stuff going first or whatever, but yeah, this just looks good. All right, Allure of Darkness. Gonna draw them two cards. I wonder if they're also on Solar Recharges too. If they are, then that's pretty neat. They do have to banish a dark. They're thinking pretty hard. Now that doesn't necessarily mean they have more than one dark, it just means they're thinking. Banish Krebins, okay. On our turn, we have Typhoon for any back row. We don't have a great way to clear the Krebins though. That could be a dust shoot. Okay, looks like it's not. I think we'll just Typhoon the back row, see what it is. Mirror Force, interesting. All right, so what's the plan? Is it Thunder King attack over Krebins with the Book of Moon and the Defissure? Or is it just Thunder King deal them 800 set Book of Moon? Huh. I think we just go for all of our cards all at once. I just kind of want to, like, own them. Like, set them super far back and then pass the turn. Thunder King will prevent searching, but I can't use his effect to negate special summons. Although I don't think that that's really going to come up, as long as we have Defissure in play. I don't really see them being able to special summon much in that deck without a graveyard. So, we should be okay. Um, yeah. We need to hit this Dyna next turn, and then we should be golden to win. Mirror Force is gone, so it's just Torrential we need to worry about. We saw Torrential last game. They do have a back row. They do have two back rows, interesting. Hmm. What does that mean? What did they mean by this? Lila can pop D Fissure. Raiko would probably be forced to pop D Fissure. Otherwise, they're gonna get owned. The back rows could be like bluffs too. They they could also be just like cards that don't do anything. We drew another Thunder King, so I'm pretty happy just like attacking. If they have like a D Fissure or something, E Telly, sure. Uh, I don't understand this. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Maybe their back rows return and they're trying to set up for it. I will attack it. They're going to pay 800 in a gate. Main phase two, I will normal summon Fossil Dyna. And then go to the end phase. And Krebins will be banished. Krebins will be banished. Banished. Yep.
vanished in end phase by emergency teleport. Yep. It's good to know what these cards do before playing them. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna pass the turn. Okay. There we go. Krebens is gone. And yeah, I think we have this one in the back. Our opponent doesn't know what emergency teleport does, so that's a good thing to know for game three. Okay, here's Mizuki. That's that's a threat. That can actually attack over the Dyna, but they didn't have a stop for the Thunder King attack last turn. So I can probably just summon another Dyna and go from there. Or we could get frisky with the Mermillo. How much better is it to pop the back row? Huh. I don't know, we'll just attack it. I don't think it's that important. Main phase two. Man, if I summon this and they have Pyramid Turtle, it's annoying, but I think it's fine just to summon it. I mean, it's a one for one trade and then it puts us up a turn and then we can Mermillo attack next turn. So I think it's fine. GG's. No, no GG's, dang. Owned, 3-0. 3-0 so far with Gladiator. The least salty Gladiator Beast of all video of all time. Okay. We're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep it going. We're just gonna keep it going today. We're just gonna keep it going. I'm gonna keep playing until I lose. I'm gonna keep playing until I lose. This might end up being the Gladiator Beast movie. You never know. You never know. This might end up being the Gladiator Beast movie. <sighs> Probably not, but maybe, maybe, perhaps. Keep playing until I lose. We're only 50 minutes in and we're 3-0. Okay, nobody is joining my game, but everyone is hosting for this format. Come on, people. Don't be so scared. Don't be so scared of the Gladiator Beasts. What did the Gladiator Beasts ever do to you? Just activate Trap Hole and you win the game. That is one thing I will note. We have not played against an opponent who's activated a Trap Card. Once. <laughs> Even once. These last few games. So, there is that. There is that. We've not seen a Trap Card be activated. All right, I'm going to pick Paper. Eventually, Paper is going to win me a Rock, Paper, Scissors. Thank God. We're playing against the True Swap Frog. I played against him before in videos. Can we go 4-0 with Glads? Can we do it? Is it possible? Might be possible. Can it be done? Okay, this hand sucks, question mark? No, this hand's good. Wait, this hand's just good. Yeah, no, this hand's crazy. I think we just set, set, summon, pass, and then dust shoot. And then we pro storm into Sekitor. <laughs> oh no, this isn't a test tiger. This looks like a test tiger. Oh no, fuck. That's unfortunate. Well, we take Armageddon Knight, of course. So they got Storm, Call, Well, Krevins, Goblin. Okay. We can beat this hand. We can beat this hand. We can beat it. We can beat it. I'm just saying, we can beat it. It, it can happen. It, it, it is possible. It is possible. It, it's however unlikely, it is possible. Now, I hope for whatever reason they don't heavy storm me. I hope for whatever reason they don't storm me. Because if they don't storm me, then we're going to have a great time. We're going to be happy campers, to say the least. We're going to be in, in, what is it, Yodi land? Yodi gang? In the heart of Yodi land? We're going to be smacking Tin the Penjamin if he doesn't Heavy Storm. The game's going to end, basically, if he doesn't Heavy Storm. If he does Heavy Storm, then we got a game. But I think we're still chill to go Geyserus thing. Yeah, Geyserus pop both. Because we know his he's going to go Heavy Storm, Set Call, Set Goblin. Or he's going to go Heavy Storm, Normal Summon, Krevins, Set Call. Either way, we can just Geyserus pop both. And then Red Yari, a quest, add back the best Yari, banish the Krebins, and the game ends. Okay, we should be okay. We should be okay no matter what. I, I'm like seeing the lines like fucking, what's his name? Uh, Doctor Strange in the Marvel movies. I'm seeing him. I'm seeing him. I'm seeing the future. I've seen 14 million futures, and in all of them, I am motherfucking Thanos. So get owned. Plus ratio, plus uh, smacking to the Benjamin. What the fuck is going on, man? Play the game. 
What are you typing? You have two plays. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's one of them. That's all good. Pass the turn. Okay, he didn't have any storm, so we're actually just like Gucci gang. We're going to go. Yeah, we're just going to do the same thing that I said we were going to do, but we're going to reveal guys Eris. This is going to be blow the guy up and then GG's time because we're going to go up plus two. Contact fuse. Pew, pew. Contact gang. Go into Geyseris. Geyseris pop. Boom. Yeah, we could do a lot here. We're going to go ahead and attack directly for 24. We could even go Darius Laquari and then go into Heraklinos. Is that better? Hold up. Is Darius Laquari Heraklinos better than better than Equest Rediari? I think Equest Rediari is just like crushing, but it's a weaker end board. But we don't have anything else to tag, so I think I think Equest Rediari is better. I think it's just a little bit more resilient to things. And then we'll go Equest. It says rematch from the stream. Yes, Lameo. We'll go banish the Krebins. No power well for you. If they had set power well, we would have just blown it up. They would have had to set both Call of the Haunted and power well, and we would have just geyser has popped both of those. Um, more or less. And then just had Solemn. Well, I guess maybe that's not. That would have been good. If they had set if they had set both cards, it would have been tough, but then we would have just flipped our Heavy Storm. They would have had to Heavy Storm, set both Normal Summon Krebins to have a chance, basically. As it stands... Yeah, so they have Goblin Zombie and three cards that do nothing, including Heavy Storm. I'm going to continue to pass. I think we should be good into just about everything. Yeah, I think we should be good in just about everything. That dust shoot was insane. That dust shoot was really, really good. We don't need to set Solemn. It, Solemn doesn't do anything, because like even if they Heavy Storm, we'd just be forced to Solemn it, and then we have no other defense. So it'd be the same as if they Heavy Stormed us anyway. So there's no reason to do it. They could theoretically go like Heavy Storm, Goblin Zombie, Crash, set Call of the Haunted, like draw phase, Call of the Haunted, do some wacky shit, but there's no real reason to do that at all. They're just going to set a monster. They know we have best DRA in hand. I mean, this is just going to be tough for them. I, I don't know. If they're if their only play is to set a monster, I think we just win this one. Straight up. Yeah. That was a good one. I mean, we won the die roll, and we had Dust Shoot Solemn, which is busted, plus Heavy. It says lag so badly. I mean, you're able to type. I wonder if there's a weird bug where he's, like, not able to click his cards. <sighs> Man. This matchup, game one, is probably good for Glads, and then game two and game three, it's probably tough. Well, actually, I don't know. I think game one is pretty bad, but they, you kind of have to know how to play it and not get Dust Shooted going second. I think knowing how to play this matchup is is a big deal. If you don't know how to play the matchup, you're just going to get looped by a quest, which is exactly what's happening. It says, legit won't let me hit and turn. Refresh. Yeah, it's probably just a bug. Dueling Book's been uh, really excellent ever since they got their new server. <laughs> Kappa. <laughs> yeah. This game should have taken 30 seconds, but it's taken a little bit longer. Six minutes, you know. Whatever. Whatevs. No big deal. Dueling Book's great. Dueling Book's great. Hydro Pain Herald. Oh my gosh. I'll plug the Discord right now. If you guys want to play Edison Format with me or Cube with me or all of the other amazing people in the Discord, there's an invite to that in the description below. The really big Yu-Gi-Oh! Discord. Go ahead and join that. It's actually super fun. We've had a lot of uh, we've had a lot of cubes fire. I mean, there's cubes firing literally nonstop all day in the Discord. So, ever since the cube video dropped, so definitely, definitely, come through, come through, come cube with the lads, and the ladettes, and the they the other lads. The but, god damn it, lads is gender neutral. All right, I'm saying it here. Lads is gender neutral. All right, they set a back row past the turn. Beautiful, awesome. We'll go main phase one. We'll flip our heavy storm. 
And now we will win the game. I mean, it's just, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of... They're going to chain Windblast. They picked up a Windblast. Okay, we have a game. We have a game. They're going to pitch Power Whirl. They're going to target... So that means the set is Goblin Zombie and the hand is Call Heavy. Target E-Quest. Okay, we have a game. We have a game. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a game. I don't really want to give them the Goblin Zombie activation, but then again, I don't really care. So... I think we'll just go Geyseris. I think it's just the best play. I don't think there's really any reason not to. They can search. They can grab Zombie Master is probably the best thing they can grab. But we'll have Bottomless for it, and that'll be that. We're going to Red Yari and probably... I want to say maybe Sam Knight, maybe Laquari. Sam Knight would get us into, well, it depends on what they search. If they search another Goblin Zombie, I mean, I'm 1,000% getting Sam Knight. Okay. Cool. We'll attack 24. Go to the extra deck. Go Ready Ari. And fucking... What's the other card I want to go into? Do I want to go Secutor? Secutor would just guarantee win the game, right? Yeah, let's just do Secutor. I think that's the move. Vanish this guy, and then we'll go set three and pass. He goes Heavy Storm, we saw him, and then we have Bottomless for the Zombie Master, and then Secutor connects, and we win the game because of Traps done. So, there's that. Here comes the storm. I mean, they have to play it, right? They don't have to play it. They could fear road. They could fear road. But I think we have the perfect combination here to win the game. Unless they drew something that's like Krebins, that could be really bad for us, actually. Krebins could be really bad for us, or like Etelli or something. Etelli could be really bad. Because then they could, like, force the bottomless. Here's the storm. I'll just saw on that. Not even think twice. Here's Zombie Master. Yep, that's going to get bottomless. And that should be that. I mean, we have traps done for whatever back row they could have, other than e -Tilly. Call of the Haunted is dead because they have no graveyard. So we're just going to go battle phase attack. For 400. Big thonk here. I mean, there's, there's only one thing you can do. Activate card or not activate card. Okay. 1,200 directies. And the initial reason I was citing Royal Oppression in the Welly Dad deck was to deal with this deck. We're going to go Secutor first. Secutor is going to get Bestiari and I think just Laquari. Then we'll go Bestiari activate. Uh, at least wait till I target Lameo. Now I'm going to pop everything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be. It's going to be the game regardless. That is tough. That is tough. Ah, true. True, yeah. For sure true. I mean, yeah, I'm probably going to pop the other back row in case I top tra or target the bottom list with Geyseris anyway. so Or just going to Heraclinos or whatever, so... It's not going to matter too much. This matchup gets harder post-board. They do have Doom Cows. They do have Royal Oppression sometimes. And then they have more Trap Cards. And the Trap Cards are quite difficult to get through. I think... I think this is going to be a tough matchup. No matter how you swing it. I have to side out the Trap I think I just have to side out all the combo shit. Because it's like too unreliable. 
what was, how was I citing before? It was like something like this, this. I was just bringing in all of this shit. Huh. Yeah, this isn't so bad. We'll try this. Do I want the third chair? I think I did. I think I was citing this in over storm. Yeah. I don't remember what the dino was coming in over. I don't remember really. But I think this is fine. It was maybe over the legacy. But he hasn't seen the legacy, so I'm not going to cite it out. Dino's kind of... It's okay against this deck. They can crash with Kribon, Kribons. So it's like not the best. It's like the the worst stun card out of the out of the three that we're boarding in, more or less. It does trade with Doom Cal, which is nice, but so do the other cards. And Cyber Dragon just runs over Doom Cal. Doom Cal's public enemy number one in the post board matchups. That card destroys Glads. Our opening hand is good. I, I think it's good. Okay, Rhoda is good. That can get them their starter. Either Greffer or Armageddon Knight or Stratos. You can get them Stratos too. That's a pretty good one. Against Stratos, they're going to search Malicious and maybe have Windblast. Looks like they're just going to grab Greffer. They might go for like a turn one Stardust or something. That could be really annoying. Actually, Greffer's pretty annoying because I'm just now noticing both of the monsters in our hand don't get over it. So we might be forced to do something. If they go turn one Stardust, we might be forced to like... Brain control the Stardust and then attack over the Greffer and then attack directly and then grab Vermillo and pop the Stardust. We might be forced to do something like that. But we'll see. We shall see. Hmm. He's big thonk mode right now. He's like deep tank mode. I feel like you should know what you're doing the second you activate Rota. Right? I could be wrong. All right, here comes Greffer. Greffer pitch malicious. Okay, kind of expected. If he has double malicious, then he can stack the second malicious for plague and then unbreak his hand, basically. Yep, there's the plague. This is a pretty good start. Okay, I don't... See, I don't get this. I don't really get this. Why not make Stardust? If you have three back row, why not make Stardust? Hmm. Maybe one of them is Solemn. I don't know the best way to play through this. I am going to try, though. I am going to try. I'm going to normal summon Sam Knight. I think he's worse than Equest now that Cat's out of our deck. So if this gets bottom list, then I'm pretty happy. Okay. I am going to try to just full send. Take the Greffer. He could Solemn here. He could Book here. He could do a lot of different things here. I'm not sure exactly what his list is on. We haven't seen the tech from him quite yet. He's going to let that resolve. Okay, now I'm going to activate Defissure. Because I do want to tag into Mermillo. He could also just book the Sam Knight. If he had the book. Yeah, he did. Okay. Yep. So heads up play waiting on the book from the True Swap Frog. That's actually a really good play. Because he realizes what I'm trying to do, basically. Back for 17. Now I will set D prison, but I will also be owned, basically. We traded brain for book, but we're also down like a lot of position. End phase, if he hits the trap card, then we're kind of boned. He just goes malicious, plague into a synchro, and then we die in two turns, and there's not much we can do. He could also wind blast us here if he wants to, but there's really no reason not to do it on his turn unless he's afraid of Solemn. Okay, there's a Dust Tornado. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Yeah, we got fucking owned in this game. Holy shit. That did not end up well. <laughs> I'm not gonna cap. That did not end up well. Sheesh. <laughs> Fuck. We still have D Fisher in play, but they can go for an eight star now and they have a back row. So they can have eight star plus Greffer plus back row and our hand can't get over any two of those cards. So we're just kind of fucking lost. He should make an eight star. He should do that. I mean, there's no real reason not to do it. Okay, waiting just is, is doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all because you're just giving me more time. That being said, we still can't really play through much, so we got to pass. The last back row is probably an option select on Dust Tornado. Because, like, you would just Dust Tornado the back row, no thoughts, unless you had something like Wind Blast. So it's probably a Wind Blast. And that's why he kept the last card in hand, and that's why he's playing so conservatively, is because he has a Wind Blast. So... That's what I'm thinking. I am honestly shocked he hasn't used the cards in his grave. Okay, we do have two Darius, so I can try to summon one and then crash with the Greffer to get the card out of play. Okay, attack the Greffer. It says think declaration. Cool. Yeah, if he does have the wind blast, then we are fucking losing this game. For sure. For sure, for sure. And he should just make Stardust. Like, there's really no reason not to. Dust Tornado, target defigure. Sure. Okay. They're gonna die. That means Dark Arm Dragon. And that is why he was waiting. Okay, so his last card's dark armed. That makes sense. But we can beat dark arm. We just can't beat dark arm Stardust. Yeah, we're fucking owned. If he goes dark arm Stardust, we're fucking owned. Like we can't win. Honestly, we probably couldn't have won like a bunch of different previous iterations of all this, but. He is, you know, playing it, playing it passively and destroying us along the way. Okay, let's see. Okay, question mark. Not question mark, thumbs up mark. All right. This is a painful game to lose because he's taking a really long time on each of his actions. He's playing really well, but it's just a painful game to lose because <laughs> I'm just getting fucking owned. <laughs> My, like, better cards <laughs> than the cards in my deck. And my draw wasn't even bad. I had, like, Brain Control, D-Fissure, I have Test Tiger, Quest. Like, this isn't even a bad draw by any means. It's just... And he didn't draw the second Malicious, otherwise he would have stacked for Plague first. And he also doesn't want to shuffle away either of the cards in his hand, which means the cards in his hand are good. So that's why he's activating Malicious first before activating the Plague. He could also just sacrifice for Vanity's Fiend, and that would close out the game too. If he's citing Vanity's Fiend, I know some lists are. Okay, there's the malicious. Let's see the plague activation. He could also just kill me, right? Like this is just colossal fighter for game. I'm gonna make him do it though. I'm gonna make him go for it. Yeah, colossal fighter is lethal here. Let's see if he does it. Let's see if he recognizes that colossal fighter is game. Okay, that's that's one one step of the way there. Two two steps of the way there. Let's see it. Let's see the Colossal Fighter. Come on, buddy. But I know you can do it. You can you can do it, True Swapper. I know you can do it. I know you can do it, buddy. Good. Summon the Colossal right there. Summon it to it. Summon the Colossal Fighter. Summon him. There it is. Okay, we can go to the next game now. All right. Cool. 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 That was a beating. That was that was fucking brutal that was not good i actually am not sold on this d fisher shit <laughs> i don't think it's good i actually don't think most of this shit is good thunder king's probably okay but i think we want the rescue cat shit because that's just like how we win the game literally and also like 
the back row hate like that many dust tornadoes i definitely want to go like rescue cat pop and shit i want my own heavy storm i want my own chainable shit i want like these three cards basically what are we siding out that's a lot of dust tornadoes dust shoots good going first i'm gonna side out chariot yeah chariot can be a little bit whack hmm Maybe we side out Grandmol. He's not very good against Krebins. He's good against the other shit, like the Resolve Synchros. But he's not very good against specifically Krebins. Maybe I'll side out like one of these Mind Control, Brain Control cards. Yeah, that seems good. We'll try this. Brain Control is not a great card going first because like it's not a back row, basically. So I'm going to go down to one copy of that. Okay, our hand's pretty good. Our hand's pretty good. We've got Dust Shoot. Now our hand's really good. Okay, I'm going to upstart because I just want to find Starlight Road. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we found a solid summon. Nice, okay. I think we will summon our solid summon and we shall set two back row and we will Dust Shoot them. All right, dust shoot, let's see the hand. Let's see it. Let's see it, bro. Let's see what you got. Oh, wow, this hand's good. Okay, hold up. This hand's pretty fucking good. Yo, this hand's actually kind of nasty. This hand fucks us up. They got Typhoon for our book. And then they've got a lot of different plays because of this foolish. They get like Foolish, Plague, and then like, I think the best card to take is actually Armageddon. Yeah, I think it's Armageddon. Or it might be Caius. No, it's Armageddon. Because they have Foolish, Gale, Caius, Mizuki, Typhoon. Foolish, Gale, Mizuki, Typhoon, Caius. Okay, so they can Typhoon our back row, they can summon Mizuki, they can crash with the Darius. They can fool, Space Typhoon our back row. They can summon Gale, they can just run over the Darius. They can Foolish, send Plague, stack for Plague, sack for Caius. Banish the Darius, hit for 24. They can Foolish Plague, Normal Summon Mizuki, stack for Goyo. Goyo take Darius, which is not a good play. Yeah, he does need a big thing here. He has a lot of plays. He has a lot of plays. Hmm. Okay, Gale. Gonna go for the Gale play. I think this is probably the... Hmm. I don't know. It's the least committal play, maybe, but... Yeah, I guess it makes the most sense. We take 450 here, I believe. 450. Um, yeah, I think... Yeah, I think this is the least committal. Because, like, if we just run over the Gale, then he still has Mizuki Foolish Caius, which is pretty good. So, there's that. That being said... We can Tiger Sam Knight into Sam Knight. Or we can Tiger Sam Knight into Secutor. Hmm. Okay. So if we Tiger Sam Knight into Secutor, book the Gale, attack it, we get two Glads, that doesn't really get us anywhere. If we go Tiger Sam Knight into Sam Knight, run over the Gale, we get Chariot. That'll give us Chariot Book, which is pretty good, plus a Laquari. Um, I actually kind of like that. It kind of just like floats our Tiger, it like converts our Tiger into a, 
into a chariot. I kind of like that. I think that's a pretty good setup. And then we can end on Laquari, and then we'll have we'll have chariot versus Mizuki Foolish Kaias. And what's we'll chariot book, basically. And he'll have to top deck heavy storm to play the game. And then once we get the Thunder King in play, it'll be it'll be curtains. Okay, I actually really like this play. I think this is the better play. This has been a really close match, actually. This has been probably the most fun out of all of the other matches we've played so far. So we attack the Gale. He takes 300. We go and get Chariot to our hand. And then we tag out the Sam Knight. And now we have options, options. So we have Equest, Abak, Darius. Don't love that. We'll have to book Mizuki in that case. We have Git Laquari. I mean, Equest Abag Darius guarantees we have a Glad in case he draws like Smashing Ground or Lightning Vortex or something like that. It, it helps against like him drawing a card that fucks us. But Laquari is better against what he actually has, so I think we're just going to go with that. It is it is up in the up in the air, up in the fence, <laughs> on the fence, on the air. Yeah, it is, it is questionable. It is questionable if we should go a quest or Laquari here. I, I know getting the plus one is good, but it is a little bit less resilient, and it would basically force us to book the Mizuki, which I don't really want to be forced to book a Mizuki. I would like to save my book for a play that takes two of their cards. So if they go for, like, normal summon Mizuki, I'm like, okay. And then they go Foolish Plague, stack that. And then I can use the book. I want to force them to do two things before I have to book. I don't want to force them to use only one of their cards for my book. Because then we're just going one for one. And I think the one for one trades will lead to the deck with the more powerful cards coming out on top. Because the second they're able to stick one of their cards, they're going to just run us over. Because their cards are just better than ours. So I think I want to go for the, like, force them to spend more than one card to play into our one back row. And then we can gain card advantage and then be in a good spot. So we have the chariot, so we can pretty safely swing into Gores. I am going to do that. I'm going to attack with Thunder King, and then I am going to attack with Gwari. He does have a lot of options here. I could tag out this Laquari now. We do have Solemn Judgment, so that's additional insurance. And we could go get the E-Quest at this point. I think I am going to do it now. The reason I'm going to do it now is because because we have Solemn Judgment... Because we have another piece of interaction, I feel pretty comfortable going Equest, add back Darius, and just getting the card advantage. And then next turn we have another monster to summon, which is good. Main phase two, we'll set the Solemn Judgment, and then pass. So now our card advantage plan is sort of taking hold. We've got one, two, three, four negates, and then, or not negates, but three negates and one interrupt, and then we've got... Uh, the Darius for follow-up and the Equest in play to also tag into more card advantage if things go wrong. Here comes the Mizuki. I am going to let this happen. If they attack the Equest, I'm going to book it. All right, we're going to activate Book of Moon, target Mizuki. We are down a card now, but we will pick it up in our draw phase. Cool, we did. And we can summon the Darius here too, which is nice. Bottomless is a great draw. Like that's pretty much like going to be lights out. We'll attack a quest. doesn't really matter how we attack here again because we have Chariot for Gores. Um, but I will attack with Darius first just in case. And then I'll go a quest first into Rediari. And I'm going to summon the Rediari in attack, pos attack position? Question mark. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose it's attack position. And then I will go Darius into Secutor because I want the game to end. So, Ready is going to banish Mizuki, and then yeah, set bottomless, and then pass. Cool. All right. Looks like we should be good to win. We know Foolish Caius. Typhoon has been used. We don't know three of the cards. There's the foolish. So we knew about this. This is going to be okay. 
I think it's going to be just too hard for them to win through this. And then next turn we get the Secutor hit and we get our plus two and the game ends. So I, th I think we should be okay. Foolish Malicious, that's totally fine. If we use our Chariot, which I do want to use the Chariot. So they can go Malicious, Activate, get the Malicious... And then sack for Caius, and then that'll put him to three dark, so dark armed would be live. That's not bad. Alternatively, well, I mean, that's okay, too, because we have Solemn for dark armed. They would need an additional extender to get over the Secutor. This is okay. They could also summon, they could summon a two-star tuner, or emergency teleport. Emergency teleport would be the worst case scenario for us. Because I think we'd be forced to solemn that. Because they summoned the malicious in defense. Something I'm just noticing is they should have summoned it in attack. If they had summoned it in attack, they could have attacked over the Secutor. But uh, it looks like they weren't, uh, weren't thinking about that line. Yeah, that could have been bad for us. I didn't think about foolish malicious. That was something that I was not considering at all. Says Ryo Chariot fucks me up either way. Maybe. GG's. GG's. Maybe. Depends on what the other play was. If they had summoned the malicious in attack, I mean, it was still a game. Was it still a game? Okay, hold up. 400, 2300. Maybe not. Maybe not. I also had Solemn. And I had Bottomless too, so. Dang. That was a close one. That was actually way too close. That was actually way too close. I think if they had drawn a little bit more high impact cards, like Gale, I don't play Gale in this deck. I think it's pretty bad. I don't really like the whole, like, I'm going to have your monster and run it over, and then you're going to run over my monster type of effect. I think it's a little slow. I prefer the the high impact cards. Like, if you're spending a summon on a card, it better be Krebins or something that you can power well back. Or it better be something that contributes to like that game plan. If it's not Gale, then I prefer high attack monsters like Doomcal or Sirocco. If that's what you're going to play. So I think Gale is actually a weaker choice for this deck in general. I think it's just low impact. Always a pleasure to play. Don't want to waste your time. But as always, need to thank you for all you do for the community. Love this format. Yeah, me too. Me too. Really appreciate that. That uh, Community is everyone involved and uh you too yeah thanks to everyone who's made this format really fun to play we went 4-0 with glads and honestly pretty happy with it pretty happy with the deck i think the deck's kind of good the thing is is our opponents didn't really play that many trap cards i think when everyone's moving towards like trap light builds like they are now and people are playing less controlling lists glads becomes very good once people realize that Glads can't really do much the second you stop the normal summon, that's when the deck starts to get pretty bad. <laughs> that's when uh, you realize, oh shit, I'm gonna die. You saw in game two against the true Swap Frog, he just had one back row and one 1700 monster and we lost the game. That's usually all it takes to dismantle this deck, but if you can play through the back row, if you can assemble your loop combo and you can summon a couple of monsters, then you should be good to take victories over some of the top decks in the format. See you guys in the next vid. Peace.